If you do not know the next pattern coming up in a Tron life cycle event, you will lose your life. RetroTech 100 Hello and welcome to RetroTech 100. Today I'm going to review the Xiaomi Mi Android Box. It runs Android 6.0. Now the reason I opted to get this was on this channel we do a lot of RetroPie gaming and for all it's very good, sometimes it can be complicated to set up. Android is a little easier, so I'm going to try some emulation games as well as regular gaming and also streaming TV and Kodi. I currently got a sent to me to review by GBUK. They're a website that sells Android boxes, Raspberry Pi 3s, Raspberry Pi peripherals, gaming accessories and all sorts of other great stuff. The link's in the description down below, go and check them out. A great website, really good prices and free shipping on everything. Let's just have a quick look at the specs. 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 8 gigs of storage, 2 gig quad core, 802.11a, B, G, N, A, C, 2.4 gigs and 5 gigs, Bluetooth to 4.1, and apparently it can do 4K at 60 FPS. So... Here's the Mii box. First time I've seen it also. It's quite small. About the size of an Apple TV. It's got the power. USB, HDMI and audio. Audio out, which is very handy actually. For me anyway. You get the instructions. I don't know who ever bothers with instructions. Not me anyway. Oh, HDMI lead. The power now it's got this because it's come directly from China, so the adapter goes in like that. And then you get you get the remote, it's quite nice. And I know it does, um, you can speak into it and it searches, which is probably just a novelty, but we'll see how it works. Let's take a look at the Xiaomi Mi Box in action. So, this is what the GUI looks like it's Android TV. You can change the launcher if you like, but I quite like this. It mixes um, YouTube and also Netflix and the App Store. I've downloaded Netflix, Open 64, RetroArch to try PlayStation. Downloading Kodi to put Pulse on. The uh, remote's very good. It's got an audio search function, so you can speak into the mic. RetroTech 100. Brings up my YouTube channel. It's actually quite slick. I really like the UI. It's not everybody's taste, but like I said, you can change it. Here's Pulse running on Cody on the My Box. Let's try Exodus. Very snappy through the menus. See it runs a video. Let's go out here and try some other video apps. So I've installed MX Play and I've got some files on a USB key I've plugged in the back. Now most TVs can do this now, any phone can play a video, so you'd expect it to just fine. See how it is just skipping and yeah. Skips with the uh, navigation button. You can see through that. A classic, the running man. A level that modern games don't. Memorization. By the way, if you've never seen the King of Kong, go download it right now, it's amazing. 
meant a tremendous increase of skill. If you do not know the next pattern coming up in a Tron life cycle event, you will lose your life. Only the diehards. What a brilliant film. So as you can see, it reads things fine. It also can use um, a USB key or a hard drive as the internal storage. So don't think you're limited to the 8 gigs of storage you have in there. You can treat it as the internal storage. So you've got to turn it off, move files across, move games across, plug it in and run everything from there. I've got it plugged into a cheapy USB hub. It's not even a USB 3 hub. I've also got my controller plugged into it and a USB key. Just downloaded an Android game. I've just got my um, 360 controller plugged in. And yep, yeah, it works. Even the analog stick works. Start a new game. It's got a look at Castle Crushers about it, it's why I downloaded it. Actually, I've played very few Android games, not for a long time. I really haven't had a box capable of doing it, but um, I guess I do now. Can't get up there. <laughs> Maybe I'll move this across. As you can see, there's no stuttering. Plays very well, actually. Very simple game, but plays very nicely, and uh, 360 controller works great on it. It's not even a proper 360 controller, it's um, just a GameStop one. Super Mario World seems to be playing fine. I've done nothing to the settings. It does have quite a lot of settings. So if you press B, so you can run it 100%. Uh, when you load up, your, you can load save files, load from auto file. I know Golden Eye can be a sticking point for sure. I mean, I don't know how to play this mini game. Never had an N64 as a kid, but people say, oh, you can play N64, well, but can it play Golden Eye? No, this can for the most part. I'd have to say.
done have a little bit of slowdown. Uh, like I say, I've not messed with any of the settings at the minute. I haven't done a lot of Android emulation. My box playing second three under Retro Arch. Round one, fight. Actually, not loaded any BIOS files or anything. Actually. So what do I think of the Xiaomi Mi Box? It's a very capable little machine. It can do streaming videos such as Kodi, Android gaming, and Android games are getting better all the time. You've seen it do emulation, I was pretty impressed with it on that score. And you can pretty much plug any peripheral into it. I think I've only scratched the surface of what it can do. It's very snappy and easy to use. I'd recommend it, and if you'd like your own Xiaomi Mi Box, there's a link in the description where you can buy one. This has been the Retro Tech 100, I'll see you next time.